Hello, welcome to the demo video for two-way sync. In this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a syncing operation between a production site, a live site, and a staging site. So right in front of your screen, you can see the two-way demo dot temp.com. That is our production site. And with that, we have installed our InstaWP Connect plugin. So if I open this plugin uh, screen, you can see the InstaWP Connect plugin is already pre-installed. You can search for that in the repo and install it. And after you install, you need to connect it with the InstaWP account. Once that is connected, you can go through the flow of creating a staging site. So that is outside the scope of this video. And once the staging site is created, we can now explore uh, the two-way sync option. So let's go ahead and open this staging site, which is kind of a replica of the production site. And you can see on the staging site is the Narwhal site, which has the two-way demo site name already because it was there in the production. So what we need to do is go to the dashboard of our staging site. And I'm just going to uh, go to the tools instead of WP section. Here, I just need to click on sync, which is under beta and click on the listening mode. So what will happen now is as soon as you create new or you make new changes to the staging site, it will get recorded. So what I mean by that is let's go to the pages. And as you know, in the WordPress default settings, you get a sample page and a privacy page. So let's create a new page here. Click on add new and new page on staging. And let's just add a sample content maybe a heading so staging page and just let's just just publish it and let's look at the page all good you will see a recording uh, option on top you just click on it and you will see the new changes which has been recorded uh, are now shown here so there are some internal changes which it has captured but the most important part is the page created part and we also see the page title. All we need to do is click on sync changes. This is your destination. And how many changes are there, you can see the count. And now we can add a message, added a new page. And this is entirely optional. So click on sync changes. The next thing which you'll do, it will just pack everything up, push it to the cloud, and then merge it to the destination. And this is one of the often asked questions which we have seen before is will it disturb uh, or will it overwrite pages with the same ID? So we can actually try it out. First, let's go to the production side, go to the pages section, open it in a new tab. And here you can see the new page on staging is now there, right? And now I can add a new page on the production. So new page on prod and prod page and publish right so the idea is that whatever i do on production it should not be affected by things which i do on the staging side so let's go back to the staging side and go to the dashboard and let's add one more page here so as you can see we have only three pages on the staging so page two on staging new page on staging and let's publish it go back go to the recording section now we have one more pending change let's sync it sync it so if i go back to production after this merge is complete let's wait for it it shouldn't take more than i think less than 10 seconds or something and let's click on the production and then you can see that your existing pages are not disturbed at all and one more thing, if you go back to staging site and make some changes to the page you just added, let's say we wanted to add a table, create table, new table on staging, update it, go to view page, and this is a new table. Let's click on recording and we can see the page was modified. So let's sync changes. And you can do the same from production to staging as well, uh, whenever you need. So it's, it works both ways. You just need to switch on the listening part on your production. So let's go back to production. 
let's check out the existing page which we created a few minutes ago and click on view so it should have uh, the new changes excuse me uh, I think this was that page yep so the page is updated and we are uh, we can what we can do in the meantime we can do whatever we want on the production side so let's test that for post so on production we have one post out of the box let's add one more post so new post in prod this post was added after the staging site was created so that means it may have the same id and let's publish it so this is production and now i'm going back to the staging going to the post here we have we still have one post and new post on staging uh, this shouldn't affect the post on prod publish and go back go to the recording section we should have a new post created event so how it works is we, it automatically captures these events uh, although the best uh, or the, the, the 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 advantage of this is you get these awesome uh, sync events but we don't capture each and every event right now we capture uh, post uh, category or taxonomy changes or custom post type changes uh, pages, uh, plugin installs, user create, user update, and soon we are increasing this coverage. So by the end of August, we are targeting, uh, or, or first, week of, the first week of September, we are targeting to uh, capture most of the core events. And for a plugin, third-party plugins like Elementor, that, those are also supported because they use custom post types. Uh, plugins which don't support custom post type, uh, are still something we are uh, it's, it's an ongoing process and we'll re we will release an SDK where people can use that to uh, provide compatibility so let's sync this change and if I go back to production and click refresh so we have two posts and if I click on view this should be all good and it detects other changes as well as i said so if you click on quick edit and make it probably a draft and update it we should detect that as well and okay post created so it is detecting it is a post created event all right so now it is in the draft mode so i think there is a small bug where it um, detects it as a post created rather than post updated so we'll get that fixed but in the meantime i hope you enjoy the two-way sync demo and you can start using it uh, on your uh, you can t start testing it uh, until it goes uh, it, it comes out of beta mode and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, appreciate your time thank you